everybody, and welcome to a special episode of the Ultimate Job Search and Career Podcast. I am Bill, the company's expert. Thank you for joining me today. If you are looking to learn to communicate at the executive level, you've come to the right place because in today's episode, we're going to be doing a deep dive into my new online course called Write Like a Professional. That's right, in the interests of transparency and finding out if this course might be right for you, I decided to include all the details here. I was originally going to explain this to everybody using the international language of dance, but because this is audio only, we can't do that, unfortunately, as entertaining as it might have been. But if you would still like me to do that, let me know in the comments. Yes, this course is called Write Like a Professional. It's only been out for a couple of weeks, I think, just over a week. And um, it deals with business writing, not creative writing, not dramatic, poetic, or any other forms of writing, business writing. So it's a subset of communication in English, and this is directed for communication with executives and upper mid-level managers in the private sector and in government organizations. Uh, This is what we're going to be talking about. I created this sort of as a companion to my other two courses, which are my get hired course and my $100 MBA course. Now uh, we're going to cover several things in this video. Um, First of all, we're going to talk about who's it for. Okay. Who could benefit from this? We're going to talk about the learning outcomes. So what it will do for you if you decide to enroll in it. We're going to talk about the origin of the material. I've had a few questions on that. Where does this stuff come from? And finally, we're going to talk about the format, okay? What you can expect, how it works, and um, you know how, is I, how everything is structured. So let's dive in. Okay, first order of business. Who is this course for? Who can benefit from it? Well, I've basically outlined four types of people that would most obviously benefit from this course. The first is job seekers, okay? Job seekers at all levels, including the executive level, will benefit from this, okay? In a sense, it is a companion to my Get Hired course. Um, If you are gonna be communicating with recruiters and hiring managers and things like this, obviously, written communication comes into uh, into play and you have to get it right or, you know, the results will be lackluster. The second type of person that will benefit from this course are students, okay? If you're a student, this course will improve the quality of your writing tremendously. You will get better grades. Your written work will be better all around, okay? So you could definitely benefit from this. Third group of people that could benefit from this course are professionals who are ambitious, who want to be promoted into executive management. So these are people that have jobs, that have a career, but they're looking to climb the ladder. And as hopefully everybody knows, one of the requirements for working in an executive management position across all industries are above average communication skills, and that includes written communication skills. So this course will assist you with that, and that will no longer be a concern after uh, you learn this material. And finally, the fourth type of person that could directly benefit from taking this course are those who want to network with executives. Now, uh, outside of job seekers, okay, because this could, that could describe job, some job seekers, but uh, this could be other executives. It could be people in sales, like industrial sales. You're wanting to contact uh, people that you don't know that are in organizations in your industry. If you are wanting to break into an industry or change careers or, you know, get information on a industry or a company or a specific thing, you want to organize informational interviews, uh, this would be for you. And also entrepreneurs, if you are starting a company or you have started a company and you are looking to reach out to executives at organizations that uh, can help you, that are in the business environment for you and your industry, This will help you with that. Basically, anyone who wants to know or anyone who wants to develop above average writing skills in a business context, this is for you. Okay, the learning outcomes. What will this course do for you? What do you get? What do you learn? Well, basically, you learn three things. The first one is to eliminate the negative signals in your writing. 
Now, I don't know if you've ever received a email from somebody or a DM or anything like that where they they might misspell your name or they don't use words correctly or they violate communications protocol in some way. You know that this is bad. You know that if you don't know the person and you receive a message like that from them, you're probably not going to respond or you're not going to respond favorably, right? These are all red flags. This is the kind of thing I'm talking about. When we write, if we don't know what we're doing and we're just starting out, we tend to send some negative signals in the choices we've made in our writing that we're unaware of. So that's what we're going to be doing. talking about in this course, we're going to be eliminating that. You're going to recognize the stuff and I'm going to give you ways to eliminate that from your writing. So you can imagine that that alone will uh, result in a lot more favorable outcomes for things. Uh, The second thing you're going to learn in this course and that you're going to be able to do is this will improve the clarity of your writing tremendously. Have you ever tried to read someone's writing where they're using long sentences and overly fancy language and you know, you're, you're trying to understand what they're saying and you got to keep rereading their sentences over and over because they're complicated and you can't parse them. It's exhausting and it's time consuming. We're going to be talking about that. You will be, once you put these principles into practice, you will be able to explain anything, no matter how complex. And the reader will be able to understand every single one of your sentences first time without ever having to reread a single sentence. It's a much, much clearer way of communicating. It's uh, something that expert communicators do, and you will learn this. So it'll improve the clarity of your writing tremendously. And thirdly and finally, um, you will have more successful interactions with others at all levels. Okay, that's what you will get out of this. Uh, When you are sending out requests, you are doing pitches, you are sending out proposals, you are connecting with people you don't know, you will get much more favorable results, okay? If you are networking with executives or you're persuading people, you're trying to get compliance, consensus, or you're delivering bad news, you will get a much more favorable outcome. And we also cover some uh, elements of appropriate and inappropriate communications at high professional levels. So you're going to have an appreciation for all this you will have more successful interactions with others at all levels in a business context from having taken this course. So that's what you get. Number one, eliminate bad signals. Number two, improve the clarity of your writing. And three, more successful interactions with others. That's what this will do for you. Moving on, um, I've received several questions about the origin of this material. Let's talk about that. Where does this content come from? Okay, now one question was, Is this the same stuff we learned in high school? The answer is no, absolutely not. This is, you did not learn this in high school or college for the most part, um, or undergraduate university, certainly. Um, These are real life tips drawn from my personal experiences. Now, my experiences are threefold. Number one, being at the executive management level in several organizations over five industries uh, for years, including the CEO level and having supreme responsibility for running a business operation. Uh, Two, I built a management consulting business requiring a lot of this type of content, these abilities, these skills uh, to do it. I was reaching out to a lot of executives, usually CEOs or board members, um, you know, in that I didn't know in industries that were either parallel to mine or ancillary to mine and uh, reaching out and making requests and being able to build relationships with these people. And I did the vast majority of this uh, using written communication. So I'm basically giving you uh, the things, the the tips and tricks that enabled me to do that. Um, And finally, for what it's worth, I, in the last 10 years, I've gone back and taught in universities in their management programs and in their postgraduate management programs. And I've taught communication courses and I've taught various business topics. So I've had a lot of interaction with students um, at the graduate uh, and postgraduate level. And the, you know, the, a lot of the, some of the tips certainly have come from my experiences there. Some of the rookie mistakes I've seen, some of the um, things that they don't teach you in school. So you don't know 
Um, the way things usually go, they leave you to learn this stuff <laughs> over the course of 20, 30 years experience out in the real world. And I've sort of tried to put it into a course. So that's where this material comes from, okay? Is, is it a comprehensive traditional writing course in the sense that we start at the very beginning with the absolute basics and go from there? No, this is for people that already have a reasonable proficiency in English, but they want to take it to the next level and learn how to communicate well in the business world. That's what this is for, okay? So I'm giving you many tips that are high impact that uh, really make a difference. Okay, so that's where the material comes from. Finally, let's talk about the format of the course. Okay, how, what is the course? How does it work? Well, you get 40 videos, okay? 40, four zero. I believe each one is somewhere in the neighborhood of eight minutes long. So they range from two minutes each to 20 minutes each. And the total hours of video in the entire course, because I did receive a question on that, is four and a half hours. So in the entire course, you get four and a half hours of video. Okay. Um, and as I said, there's 40 individual videos. What I've done is I've um, broken it out into many individual lessons, little bite-sized lessons for the most part that work together to build into an end result. You use all of these together and they add up to some pretty powerful results, okay? I give you demonstrations in a word processor so you can see me typing. Um, but they are they're basically tips that you can work into your daily life or your daily job if you are, you know, currently working and, uh, you know, you're communicating on a daily basis with a variety of people. Uh, it's things you can easily implement and practice in your daily activities, okay? Question. What do you learn exactly? Okay, uh, the structure of this course is divided into three modules, okay? Uh, you like that? It's a fancy term, modules. So you've got the low-level module, the mid-level module, and the high-level module. And you do each of those in sequence. So the low-level module, we start with mechanics. Things like, you know, basic stuff, where the rubber hits the road, like how to use commas and how to construct sentences properly basic stuff. Now it may seem basic, but a lot of the stuff is very important, especially when it comes to separating uh, people that are professional from people who really aren't. Uh, but we use that as a foundation. That's what we do in the low level module. In the middle level module, we worry about articulation. Okay. Now that you can construct sentences properly, it is certainly possible that people can understand your sentences, but not understand your point or your argument or not agree with it. Okay, so in the mid-level module, we work on the construction of ideas, articulating our, our ideas properly, clearly, uh, using the material we've learned in the low-level module. And then finally, at the high-level module, we talk about the high-level communication strategy, okay? Uh, this is where you decide, you know, what's the likely reaction? You deal with the audience. Who's it going to? What's their response likely to be? So what should we say? You know, it's choosing what to say and how to say it, how to phrase it, so we get the desired result, okay? So higher level strategic planning for our communication. So those are the three modules, and that gives you a comprehensive idea of what we're learning, all the way from the, the low level with commas and such, all the way to a high level where we're worried about tone and reaction and uh, we tailor what we say to our audience and those kind of high-level concepts. Okay, question. Is it accredited? And can you put it on your resume? Uh, no, it is not accredited. Uh, this would not be part of an, a program in English because it doesn't deal with, you know, literature or anything like that. It deals strictly with business writing. So for that reason, it would probably be part, if it was going to be a part of any a program, it would be in a business program at the, at the master's level, the postgraduate level. Um, but this type of thing is not taught. This is, I've never seen an academic course that covers this type of material. Um, these are more practical tips from my experiences working at that level for many, many years. 
So, uh, no, it is not accredited. And the reason it is not accredited is because there are no tests or evaluations. You don't have to do any assignments. You don't have to do any tests. Uh, the structure of the course is that you learn the material and then you apply it in your daily life. You don't have to do any exercises or anything like that. Uh, you know, that, that's just how it's structured. So because there are no evaluations, I have no way to verify learning. So therefore it will never be accredited. Um, I don't care about that. You get out of it what you get out of it. And I'm just trying to make it as simple as possible for people to take advantage of it. Um, can you put it on your resume? Certainly. You know, with the assumption that if you get any questions about it, you answer them truthfully. Sure. Absolutely no problem with that. Um, there are no certificates, but you can print out the invoice for the course uh, should you need a proof of purchase or a proof of enrollment. I know that a couple of people are asking about that. Um, question, do we have to buy books or any extra material that costs money? No, you don't need anything else to do this course. You don't have to buy any books. You don't, as long as you have access to an internet connection and you have a device that you can do word processing on. So you have a desktop computer or a laptop or a tablet, you know, and you have something like office 365, Microsoft word, that kind of thing. As long as you have something like that, where you can actually create documents, uh, you should be fine. I mean, people will be writing emails and DMs and things, but, but you know, this also involves documents too. So as long as you got access to a, uh, you have doc, you have access to a uh, word processor, uh, you're fine. You don't need any other materials to do this, uh, course. Um, does access expire? The answer is no access does not expire. Um, once you enroll in the course, you have access to the videos and all the materials for life essentially um i have had courses out now for three or four years and the people that have enrolled for those courses they still have access today so as long as the course is in existence you will have access to it so there you go i uh i also had a question about why this material is in a course not a youtube video well there's a lot of intricate details as you can imagine with four and a half hours of videos there's a lot of uh, material there and it's not possible to put it in youtube videos in a way that people can really consume because you know in order to understand material towards the end of the course you have to have gone through all the material at the beginning of the course in the middle of the course and you really don't get that um, type of sequential viewing on youtube videos i have found i've tried stuff like that before it doesn't really work so that's why i've put it into a course so hopefully that makes sense you guys are awesome hopefully that gives you an understanding of what this course uh entails and what it can do for you so there's a link in the description box if you wish to uh check out the course and enroll um other than that let me know in the comments if you have any questions i will do my best to answer any down there and other than that, thank you so much for your attention. You guys are awesome. And I will see you on the next episode of the Ultimate Job Search and Career Podcast. Take care.